causes of inflationary gap or you can also say causes of excess demand. So your aggregate demand is greater than your aggregate supply is the situation of inflationary gap. Your aggregate demand components are your consumption, your investment expenditure, your government expenditure, your exports minus imports. Now, if your aggregate demand is increasing, which means your consumption is either increasing or investment expenditure is increasing or in government expenditure is increasing or exports are increasing and imports are reducing. So these are the causes of your inflationary gap. So number one we can say is increase in private consumption expenditure. That is your C. If you increase your private consumption expenditure, it means you are demanding more in the economy. You are demanding more which in increases your aggregate demand. Second we have is increase in investment expenditure. If there is an increase in the investment expenditure, which means there will be increase in the aggregate demand. Third we have is increase in government expenditure. If your G as a component is increased, so your aggregate demand will increase. Fourth, we have is increase in exports, which means in the foreign markets, your goods are demanded, your domestic goods are demanded more. So, if your domestic goods are demanded more, which ultimately increase your aggregate demand in the economy. So, the increase in exports. Fifth year, decrease in imports. Foreign goods are demanded less, your domestic goods are demanded more in the economy, which again increases the aggregate demand. So, decrease in your imports. Sixth is a cut in tax rates. If your taxes are reduced, which means people will have more real income with them in order to demand more in order to purchase more of the goods because they are paying less as the taxes. So in this case also your aggregate demand increases and those all the are the cases which causes an inflationary gap in your economy. Now let's understand the consequences of an inflationary gap. Now if your aggregate demand is greater than your aggregate supply, what will be the consequences? When your aggregate demand increases beyond its full employment level, output remains constant because you are at your full employment level. There is full employment level. Which means your output cannot be increased because you are using, you have completely used your resources. So your aggregate supply remains constant and if your aggregate supply remains constant and demand is more, it gives pressure on the goods and services and excess pressure or demand on the existing output with what happened, your price of the existing output increases, excess pressure on the demand of the existing output causes a rise in price. So this is the case of inflation and if your price rises which again causes increase in the cost of production. So again there will be increase in the cost of production and aggregate supply will be less. So accordingly this is again a inflationary cycle that you get if there is aggregate demand is more than the aggregate supply. Now let's see how this happens graphically. This is your graph. Here you take your income or output. You are taking your price of a good. So your aggregate supply will be constant. There will be no change in your aggregate supply. This is your 
aggregate demand your prices p now if your aggregate demand increases from its full employment level that is ade what happens your price increases from p to p1 so there is increase in the price so ultimately causing an this is the consequences of your inflationary gap i hope you have completely understood this please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us